All right, welcome back to the workshop. So today I want to talk about one of my favorite finishes that I use in about 90% of my projects, and that is Amber Shellac. Uh, when I first used this product, uh, I actually didn't like it. Uh, it was very thick, and it wasn't a very even texture on the surfaces that I used uh, until I would dilute it with a denatured alcohol. So what I use on most of my uh, projects, I use 12 ounces denatured alcohol per one container and mix it into uh, a regular paint can that you can find at the home goods store. Uh, so the projects that I use it on are, I mean, they're all around me. I have the flip top toolbox, which you've seen in another video uh, that I use the finish on that. I use it on my workbenches, using my table saw station, my French cleat uh, storage system I got here. Uh, so here is one of the drawers I pulled out of my toolbox. So you can see how the finish looks with a lighter uh, wood, like uh, I believe this is aspen and then uh, a denser wood, uh, which is oak. You can tell it makes the dub, it really makes the dovetails pop out and make it, it gives everything a nice warm look. Um, and what I also like to use it for is uh, stained projects. Yep, that was the right side. Uh, is so I have different stains here on pine and when I'm done and the stains are all, I got the, the color that I want it, I'll put a coat of one coat of shellac on each finish and it'll give everything a very warm look to it. It makes it look very professional. And what I've done in the past couple of years is actually finish it with uh, one coat of lacquer. I use clear gloss and that gives everything a very polished look to it. And I think it looks very good and very professional. Uh, there's different things online of, you know, you shouldn't use it with shellac, you should, and I've had no problems with it, uh, no bonding issues of the, the two different types of finishes. I think it looks very good and it works very well. Uh, now, when you make a project, a lot of people would immediately look at it and then feel it and touch the surface. So what do you do with all the bubbles and uh, if there's just a little bit of sawdust, what do you do to get rid of that? And the last thing I do is I take 4-0 steel wool put a little bit of butcher block wax on there just to lubricate it. You can use any type of wax you want. And I just run it over the surface very lightly and it'll get rid of any imperfections. So when you're all done, the piece will look and feel very professional. So if you used this product before, please comment below. And uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos to come, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.